Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. This is evening prayer for Friday, uh, February 15th. It's the fifth week after the Epiphany and week five in the Psalm cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 91, and Mark 10, verse 32 to 45. We need some volunteers to help out with the daily office ministry. If you have an interest in any aspect of video production, including leading the liturgy, uh, reading the lessons, uh, editing, music, artwork, set design, lighting, please contact me through the prayer request link at www.brotherbill.net. And let's talk about how you might become involved and become a part of this ministry. This is an ecumenical and inclusive opportunity. Everyone is welcome. And this is a volunteer opportunity that you can do from your own home. And now join me in singing the second verse of Psalm 95. You are God, a great ruler over all the gods. In your hands are the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. You made the sea, it belongs to you. The dry land to it was formed by your hands. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. If you dwell in the shelter of the Most High, you shall live in the shadow of the Almighty. Alleluia. Psalm 91, and please recite it with me. <clears throat> Alleluia, if you dwell in the shelter of the Most High, you shall live in the shadow of the Almighty. And I will say of God Most High, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. And surely God will deliver you from the snare of the fowler. God will cover you, and under God's wings shall you find refuge. God's truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of any terror by night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the plague that walks in darkness, nor the sickness that wastes at noonday. A thousand shall fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand. But it shall not come near you, and with your eyes you shall behold and see the punishment of the wicked. Because you have made God Most High your refuge, the Most High your stronghold, no evil shall befall you neither shall any plague come near. For God shall give the angels charge over you to keep you safe wherever you go, and they shall bear you in their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the dragon you shall trample underfoot, because you love me, therefore I will deliver you. And I will set you on high, because you have known my name, you shall call upon me, and I will answer. I will be with you in trouble, I will deliver you and honor you, and with long life will I satisfy you, and show you my salvation. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. If you dwell in the shelter of the Most High, you shall live in the shadow of the Almighty. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark, chapter 10, beginning at verse 32. They were on the road going up to Jerusalem, and Jesus was walking ahead of them. They were amazed, and those who followed were afraid. He took the twelve aside again, and he began to tell them, what was going to happen to him, saying, See, we're going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be handed over to the chief priests and the scribes. They will condemn him to death, then they will hand him over to the Gentiles. They will mock him and spit upon him and flog him and kill him, and after three days he will rise again. 
James and John, the sons of Zebedee, came forward and said to him, Teacher, we want you to do for us whatever we ask. And he said, What is it you want me to do? And they said to him, Grant us to sit one at your right hand and one at your left in your glory. But Jesus said to them, You do not know what you are asking. Are you able to drink the cup that I drink, or be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized? They replied, We are able. And then Jesus said to them, The cup that I drink you will drink, and with the baptism with which I am baptized you will be baptized. But to sit at my right hand or my left is not mine to grant, but it is for those for whom it has been prepared. When the ten heard this, they began to be angry with James and John, and so Jesus called them and said to them, You know that among the Gentiles, those whom they recognize as their rulers, lord it over them, and their great ones are tyrants over them. But it is not so among you. But whoever wishes to become great among you must be your servant, and whoever wishes to be first among you must be slave of all. For the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life a ransom for many. Here ends the lesson. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Let us pray. Lead us in triumph over all enemies and keep us safe from every evil in the shelter of your loving kindness. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.